Well, living life below zero is nothing new for the bold north, but our extreme cold also trip, took a trip down south and nearly spread from coast to coast. So how historic is this winter weather event? Good question. I saw these years. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to another episode. My name's Sam Sobey, and tonight I'm with one of my good pals, Sam Somerness, and uh, we're doing something very unique. Uh, we're doing some winter camping, ice camping, what have you, and we're going for some pretty prehistoric looking fish. Uh, they're greasy, they're nasty, and hopefully they're gonna chomp on this wrecking ball of a glow jig right here. So we'll talk more about that later. Either way, it's been like a, a polar vortex um, in the upper Midwest the past week. It's been anywhere from negative 25 to negative 35, uh, basically from Southern Minnesota all the way up to Canada. And just now we're finally reaching like single digits. It was zero degrees, I think mid afternoon today. And uh, now what is it up to like eight degrees? Yeah, I saw eight degrees today and that made me very happy. Heat wave, it's a heat wave. So that's why we broke out the spring break gear. So stick with us. We'll kind of give you a full breakdown of the inside of this tent, inside of our ice camping setup and hopefully we catch some fish along the way. So, stick with me, stay tuned, you won't be pissed. Okay, right out the gate, I'll kind of show you our shack here. This is the Clam X 600. It's a giant thermal insulated hub shack, and this is what we're gonna be sleeping in tonight. And I know what you're thinking, this looks like no place to sleep for now. We're just kind of chilling, doing some fishing, and then we'll kind of set up our beds later this evening. But we've got three holes in the middle. One will be a set line hole, that's Sam's jigging hole. That's my jigging hole, and then our cots are over here. As far as sleeping goes, we'll probably set a cot up over there. We'll set a cot up right here, and then we can both be jigging from bed, and then obviously have our set line pole, probably with a bobber on it. <laughs> Sit like this. Boom! He's so sick. Quack, quack. Oh. Really? Yeah. Mark in. Got him. Sam's on. Sam's on. Let's yes, go. sir. I'll turn this off, I'll turn this off, I'll turn this off. Sam's on. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Right here. Oh, yes. Man. Oh, yes. Oh, no. No, 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 no. We got him. Yeah. We got him. <laughs> nice job, dude. First one of the night. Talk to me. That's a pretty one. Really dark leopard print on it. You see this fish right here? This is a bourbon and that's exactly what we're after. Also known as an eel pout, lingcod, and a variety of other names, this fish has grown in popularity over the past five years. Not only are they fun to catch, they're also great table fare. Look at that thing. Sam, that's freaking gorgeous. Big belly, nice and brown. Oh. He's a really slimy guy too. So with burbot, this leopard print, it's not really found in all burbot. Like, I was just talking to Dax today from Wisconsin, and they get a lot of just clear colored burbot. Like, it'll be kind of like this little yellow color, but it's just, there's no leopard print to it. But northern Minnesota gets these beautiful burbs. Oh, man. Yeah. The other cool thing they have is this little, little, I don't even know what you call it. Like a tentacle? Yeah. I don't know. Just barbel. Just a Barbel sounds right. Just a little cutie. Back down she goes. Big greaser. Super slimy. All right, first burb of the night. What's our time check? Uh, I think it's like 7.30. It's only 7.30, boys. We're gonna stay up till at least two or 3 a.m. So let's get back down there and let's get another burb. Greasy. Greasy. Can't you like change the cone angle on that? Or some shit. To put it on the skinniest one. Oh, there you go. Oh, Martin. Markin, there we go. Turn that music off. Markin, come on. There we go. Clucked up, first burb of the night. Oh. Get up here, little mama. Get up here, little mama. Forever. Oh, gosh, he's mad. Oh, oh. Come on, come on. He kind of. So the burb, he did a, a wicked roll and now my line's kind of wrapped around him. 
It's like right in the center of the body so his head doesn't get up the hole. And there's like two feet of ice here. Oh gosh, he's right there. Yeah. Are you going down? Are you gonna try? try. It's going down. Oh, <laughs> yes, dude. Way to put the team on your back. Look at that, wrecking ball to the face. Freaking gorgeous burn. Sam, thank you. He put the team on his back and pulled this big freaking leopard pig out. Look at him, gorgeous. You can see that wrecking ball right to the face. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful colors. Wow, look at him, I'll try to untangle him. These things are so fun because they're literally just a freaking ball of muscle. I can barely straighten them out to show you his patterns. So good, so gorgeous. All right, we're probably gonna grab a pick or two and then I'm gonna let this grease pig right back down the hole. Wonderful. Cause we've got more burbs to catch. Yes, sir. See you, buddy. That's two burbs in the house. Two burbs. Crazy. Um, this year's been pretty good. I've actually been able to spend a lot of time on the ice, fortunately, because of COVID and having online school, I don't have to go into campus. So I've actually spent, I have a log going of all of the nights I've spent on the lake yeah, and everyone I've been with. Uh, That's so sick, dude. With the group total this year, I'm up. We're up to 80 fish, and I have caught 45, and that is uh, that's something I couldn't have dreamed of a couple of years ago. Uh, I really got into burbot fishing when I was, uh, I think I was like 11 on a Boundary Waters trip, ice fishing for lake trout, and I accidentally caught one. And I was like, these fish are super cool. And then I went to school in Bemidji here, and I am right next to Leech Lake, Cass Lake, and Lake Winnebagosh, and those are all burbot factories, and. I couldn't be more grateful being right next to all three of them, getting to fish them all the time. To some people, they might see the burbot as just a gross behemoth looking pig fish. And to others like Sam, his buddies, and I, uh, it's just, it's gorgeous. It's beautiful. They're leopard patterns, they're big fat tummies, and obviously the grease. Oh, oh, marking, 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 marking. Arkin. Oh, come back. Get him. Oh, yeah, baby. Get him, dude. Get him, dude. Whack. Get him, dude. Yep. Oh, he had it. Get him, dude. Get him. Get him. He's hot. Come on. He's on it. There it is. Got him. Let's go. <laughs> nice dude, these are the worst. These are the ones like this is where people are like, oh, burbot are the worst, because the little ones, they're they move so fast. So that was a big hook set and a lot of drag for a, not a lot of burb. I always think it's good luck if you uh, if you look the little barbel. So <laughs> beautiful. Oh. See you, buddy. There he goes. Crazy. Time check. Ten o'clock. Uh, we had a nice run of burbs from like seven to nine, and then we got another one coming here, hopefully from 12 to like 2 33 in the morning. Are you getting hungry? Yeah. Bergs and burbs? Burbs and burgs? Burbs and burgs. All right, on the menu tonight, we've got some pizza rolls to start us out, and then I think we're probably gonna crush some burgers after that. So a little pizza roll appetizer, and then we should be good. I kind of feel like those are done. <laughs> they gotta be. Oh wow, they're good enough. They might even have a little charging. I don't know what you can see in here right now, but we've got burgers, some half burnt pizza rolls. We never said we were good cooks. We never said that. Oh, Marcus. Here we go. Here we go. Hit it. Hit it. Oh, come on. Oh, there's another. Oh my that, God. That's a good one. Come on. Come on, do it. Do it. There's two of them, dude. There we go. There we go. Still another one down there? There we go. You keep this. Keep this. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, there's two of them. There we go. Two of them came rolling in. How's she feel? 
Oh, she feels all right. She's coming up pretty quick. <coughs> she's fighting at the hole. Ooh, she's getting bigger at the hole. Okay. Okay, here we go. Here we go. There's some little burb action. Yeah. Burb action. There we go. There's a little grease. Current time check it is 12.01. And uh, yeah, my second burb of the night. Just like Sam said, Sam literally said, there's a bite window from like six o'clock to nine o'clock. And then it seems like from midnight to 2 a.m. they get a little greasy, so beautiful. Beautiful, look at him, he's all tensed up. Just a ball of muscle. <laughs> all right, I think I'm gonna get him right back down. Relax, relax, there he goes. Bingo, baby. So it's finally clearing out in here from uh, our kind of cooking extravaganza. That was just whew, a conundrum. The whole cooking thing, not catching the burb. That was, that wasn't hard at all, but we like had half thought out venison burgers and they're still all right. We cooked them up, then made a bunch of smoke. Um, and then we kind of half charred some pizza rolls. Those are all right. But uh, we've got Snicker bars, lots of chips, gummy worms, more chips. So we're gonna survive. Three but Mountain Dews. It, yeah, we got three Mountain Dews. We got Mountain Dews too. So we're gonna be good for the night. Um, I think we'll probably just kind of fish late into the evening, and then we'll slowly kind of set up our actual tent and our actual camp here, and then probably start jigging from bed because that'd be kind of fun to just whack a burb as we're hanging out in the cots. So yeah, burb time, right on the nuts at midnight. All right, we tiptoed our way around into reorganizing the shack. And it's looking pretty good. This is this is looking kind of pro here. This looks like the movies. Yeah, you look like Matt or Jay Stevens. We're looking good. Um, the shack is nice and warm. We got the double buddy on and we turned off the double sunflower. We're just gonna kind of run on just the double buddy heater tonight. Make sure you guys, if you're camping out on the ice, you have a carbon monoxide detector. Uh, we've got ours pinned to the ceiling. And that's just gonna make sure you don't die out here. So, Sam's reclined in his nice cot there. We've got, we've got these rubber mats here. We got both our backslurs. We're just both gonna be jigging for burbs in bed. Um, we've got Crocs on. We're loving life. We've got plenty of blankets. We've got a heater with full propane, and it's nice and warm. So, I think the only thing we really forgot on this trek is uh, maybe a small fan to put up here that I, that would kind of circulate and blow the the hot air back down but other than that we're doing good we've got plenty of air vents open i've got lights shining right above my head so i don't ever fall asleep and uh, <laughs> yeah give me give me a little update what's our what's our time check it's 1 37 in the morning we uh i don't know probably like another hour of where i'm confident we can catch a bird before i pass out <laughs> might be a little less than that i'm pretty tired but we got a couple more days so Heck we'll yeah. see. Maybe. Maybe we'll catch a big one. Heck yeah. Who knows? We're warm. We're cozy. We're comfy. For now, I'm going to hop into bed and probably do some jigging. I don't know how long the camera's going to run, but I'll probably just point it at Sam. Because he'll probably be up longer jigging than me. And, um, yeah. We're just chilling. All is good. Soaps. Yeah. I'm on. No. <laughs> yeah. Got him? Let's go! Move ahead. Oh, my pretty babe. Something ain't right. Got to find a way to move ahead. Move ahead.